In this video, we are going to discuss the Advanced Management Accounting 2020 past paper discussion on the variance analysis. In this question, the question is focusing for 20 marks and data is given for the month of June 2021 for one limited. Now you can see the actual data and budgeted data under different categories. In the latter part, it says Ruan uses a standard absorption costing system. You know there are marginal costing system, absorption costing system and activity based costing system. So here they have used the standard absorption costing system. There were no opening or closing work in progress, which means you know that there is no over or under absorption. Now you are required to prepare the standard cost of a unit for three marks. Calculate the cost and revenue variances for Ruan Limited for nine marks and prepare a statement which reconciles the budgeted profit with the actual profit for the month of June 2021. So here they are asking you to prepare the operating profit statement reconciling the budgeted profit with the actual profit just for five marks. Explain three advantages of standard costing for three marks, which means one mark for one advantage. Here you can see most of the marks are allocated for calculating variances and preparing the operating statement. But you know that to prepare them, we must have the standard cost for a unit. Now let's prepare the standard cost of a unit. You know that standard is based on the estimates or budgeted figure. Therefore, all the estimates here are based on the budgeted data. Here, the selling price per unit in the budgeted figure is taken as the standard cost of selling price, which is 140. Now, we are going to prepare the standard cost card. So here, we are starting with the selling price. We have to take the standard selling price as 120 in the top of the statement. Now, let's calculate the variable cost. Here, the variable cost comprises of two things, direct material and direct labor. Let's calculate the direct material cost per unit. In this question, it says in the standard, they are going to use 10,000 kilograms, but they are going to produce 5,000 units, which means they are going to use 2 kilograms per unit. And price per kilogram is 5 rupees. So let's put this data in the standard cost card. So here, material 2 kilograms per unit at 5 rupees per kilogram means per unit we are going to use 10 rupees. Let's calculate the direct labor per unit. Here it says hours per unit 5 and rate per unit is 12. So, it's just a simple multiplication. So, we are going to put the labor cost as 5 hours per unit at 12 rupees per hour. Altogether, it's 60 rupees. Now, let's calculate the fixed overhead. So, here it says fixed production cost in the budget is 10,000. And they are going to produce 5,000 units, which means overhead absorption rate is 20 per unit. Now let's put them together in the standard cost unit. So here the total cost is 90 rupees. When we are deducting this 90 rupees from 140, which is the selling price, we are getting the standard profit as 50 rupees. Here part 2 of the question is focusing on the variance analysis. You are requested to calculate the cost and revenue variance for one limited just for 9 marks. 
which means for each variance it should contain one mark. Now let's start with the direct material. Here in the question it says 10,600 kilograms of direct material they are going to use at the actual price as 6 rupees per kilogram which means altogether they are going to use rupees 63,600. Now let's calculate the attainable or adjusted standard. Here we are going to use the actual quantity which is 10,600 and we are going to multiply with the standard price. So the attainable or revised standard is 53,000. Now let's calculate the standard cost. Standard cost is the standard quantity into the standard price. Here in the question, we are going to adjust it based on the actual quantity. Here it says 5,400 units they have produced and each unit needs 2 kilograms of material. Now this value should be multiplied by the standard rate which is 5 rupees. Altogether we are getting 54,000. Difference between the actual and revised standard is the direct material price variance. That is 10,600 which is adverse because the actual cost is higher than the attainable one. Then we are going to calculate the direct material usage variance. Here it is the difference between the attainable or revised and the standard. Here we are getting the direct material usage variance as 10,000 which is favorable because the standard value is higher than the attainable or adjusted one. Here next one is we are going to calculate the direct labor variances. It says to produce 5,400 actual production, we are going to use 5.5 labor hours per unit and it should be multiplied by the actual labor hour per unit which is 11 rupees and 40. So the actual cost is 338,580. Attainable or revised one is the actual hours into the standard rate. Here actual hours are 5400 into 5.5 and it should be multiplied with the standard rate of 12. It will give you 356,400. Now let's calculate the standard. In the standard it says to produce each unit they are going to use 5 hours per unit. So 5400 should be multiplied by 5 hours and it should be multiplied with the standard rate of 12. It will give you 324,000. In the direct labor rate variance, we are going to compare the actual rate and the standard rate. So we are getting 70,840 favorable variance in the direct labor rate variance because actually we have paid lesser. The difference between the labor hours is the efficiency variance. If they are more efficient, they may have utilized lesser hours. But if they are inefficient, they will use more labor hours. So when you go through this, you can see that standard is lesser than the revised or attainable one, which means they have used more labor hours. Therefore, Direct labor efficiency variance is 32,400, which is adverse. Now let's calculate the fixed overhead variance. Here let's calculate the actual overhead. Actual overhead in the question is 103,000. Now let's compare it with the budgeted figure. In the budget, they say they have used 100,000 as the fixed overhead and next we are going to calculate the absorbed overhead cost. Absorbed overhead cost is the overhead absorption rate into the number of units. Here it says fixed overhead absorbed is 20 rupees per unit and it should be multiplied with the number of units which is 5400. 
So the absorbed overhead cost is 108,000. By comparing the actual and budgeted figure, we can calculate the fixed overhead expenditure variance, which is 3,000 adverse because actually we have spent more. By comparing the budgeted and absorbed, we can calculate the fixed overhead volume variance, which is 8,000 favorable. Because in the absorbed one, we have used more than which is required in the budgeted. Now let's calculate the revenue variances. Revenue variance is the sales variance. Here, the sales variance comprises of sales price as well as sales volume. Sales price variance is the difference between the actual price and the standard price. So here, actually they have produced and sold 4,900 and the sales price is 150. So the actual sales value is 735,000. Now, in the standard, they say they have produced some quantity, but we have to adjust this figure based on the actual quantity. So we are going to use 4,900 into 140. That is the standard price. So when we compare with the actual price or and the standard price, we are getting the sales price variance, which is 49,000. It is favorable. Why? If we received more in actual terms, it's better. Now let's prepare the sales volume variance. In the sales volume, we are focusing on the profit margin. Here, the actual quantity and standard quantity compared with the standard profit margin. Actually, they have produced 4,900 and it should be multiplied with the standard profit margin. So, the value is 245,000. Now, the, in the standard, they say that they are going to produce 5,000. So, which is the budgeted figure. So, this quantity should be multiplied by the standard profit margin, which is 50. So, the standard value is 250,000. When we compare this actual and standard figure, we are getting the sales volume variance as 5,000, which is adverse. Why? The standard, we have expected that we will produce 5,000 units and we are going to sell them. However, in the actual, we are able to sell only 4,900, which means 100 quantity is lesser. Now, let's prepare the operating statement. In the operating statement, we are going to compare the budgeted profit with the actual profit. Since we are requested to prepare the profit reconciliation, we are starting with the budgeted profit. In the standard cost card, we have calculated the standard profit margin as 50. So when we are going to prepare the budgeted profit, we have to multiply the standard profit margin from the standard quantity or the budgeted quantity. From this value, we have to deduct the administration overhead. So the budgeted profit is 220,000. From this value, we are going to adjust the revenue variances. First, we are going to start with the sales price variance. Sales price variance is favorable, so we are going to add it. Then, we are going to adjust for the sales volume variance. Sales volume variance is an adverse variance of 5000. So, we are going to deduct it from the budgeted profit. After adjusting the revenue variances, we are get the budgeted profit on actual sales. That is, 264,000. For this value, we have to adjust all the cost variances, favorable variances or the adverse variances. So here, let's start with the direct material. Direct material rate variance is an adverse variance of 10,600. Then usage variance is a favorable 1,000. Then we are going to adjust for direct labor. Direct labor rate variance is 17,820, which is favorable. 
then we are going to adjust for efficiency variance which is 32400 adverse then we are going to adjust for the fixed overhead variance here the expenditure variance is 3000 adverse and the volume variance is 8000 favorable now in the question it mentioned that we have administration overhead even though the budget figure is 30,000, the actual one is 31,000. So, there is an adverse variance of 1,000. We have to adjust it too. Then, we are getting 20,180 adverse variance by adjusting all the cost variances. When we adjust it to, to the budgeted profit on actual sales, we are getting the actual profit. 243,820. Now I am going to show you another method of calculating this actual profit. Let's prepare the actual profit statement. Actual profit statement start with the actual sales which is 735,000. From this value we are going to deduct cost of sales. So in the cost of sales we are going to reduce all the production cost. Direct material 63,600, direct labor 338,580, and fixed cost 103,000. Altogether, it is 505,180. From this value, we are going to reduce the closing stock. Here, the closing stock is that in this question, they say that they have produced actually 5,400. Out of that, 4,900 is sold which means 500 units remain as the closing stock this should be multiplied with the standard cost of 90 so the closing stock figure is 45,000 now the cost of sales is 460,180 when we deduct this value from the sales figure we are getting the gross profit as 274,000 820. Now, from this value, we have to deduct the administration cost. So, the net profit figure is 243,820. Final part is the explain three advantages of standard costing. So, you know that standard costing assists the process of setting budgets. Also, it can be used as a controlling device. Standard costing is used for prediction of future cost in relation for decision making. As well as, it assists in, in the improvement of efficiency. Furthermore, to motivate the staff and management, we can use the standard costing. You have to write at least three, one of them in your answer. This is the end of past paper discussion on variance analysis in 2020 paper. Stay tuned with my next video. In those videos, we are going to prepare the operating profit statement under marginal as well as absorption costing systems.